Football, football is different. Football, you're judged by what you do out there on the field, right? The eye in the sky doesn't lie, does it? You know? And here you are. You've accomplished that on merit. You've gotten here on merit. Congratulations, man. Something to be proud of. And now's the next step. Now, where did you land? You landed in Baltimore. Baltimore Ravens. The second day of rookie camp delivered a change of scenery, the outdoor practice fields, as these rookies prepared to finish their crash course on becoming a Raven. You know, play like a Raven is something that uh, you know I heard like, right after I got drafted, and just being in the building, you, you get a sense of what that means just from the coaches, from what they expect, the tempo of practice, the intensity of practice the attention to detail in the meeting room, um, just the type of people they are. It's a certain type of player you have to be to be a Raven. Um, I just want to show that I'm a tough guy and I learn fast and I learn from the older guys. I'm not just a young guy coming in just to sit around. I, just, I want to play and I get on the field anywhere I can, special teams, whatever they want me to do and I'm just learn from everybody and just keep going forward. Let's go. Hey guys, come on, hustle over, hustle over. First day on grass, right? We got to get our feet up under us and get our feet right. So this first drill is just a five yard. I want to see you burst, work the top of your comeback footwork, okay? Come out of it running. Next man, ready, go. So when you overextend, that's going to get exposed on the wet grass, okay? So hut. Good technique, 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 technique. What happened to you just now is what happens when it's wet like this. So try T-step the next time. But just go slower. There you go. OK, that's better. That's better. You see the difference, Tavon? Leslie Frazier was he's very relaxed, you know, a very, very smart guy. And Chris Hewitt, the other DB coach, he's a very good coach also. And they just coach you just so you can understand it. And they, they write on the board, go over it on film, show us some of the veterans, what they did. And it's just been helping. Just hold your ground. I want to hear that pat pop. We got to get way more aggressive with our hands, OK? Everybody's got good feet, but we got to get an aggressive mentality with our hands. On you. Good. See the hand. See the hand. Uh, working with Coach Ingham has been great. He's a, he's a great teacher, and he, he's teaching me the techniques of, the, of being a receiver in the NFL. And I'm learning what I need to do to become a great receiver one day. And you know he's going to extend. He's trying to get to that shoulder. You just want to be ready to anticipate that better and beat him to the punch, OK? Chris Moore, the speedy 6-1 receiver out of Cincinnati, was brought in to take the top off the defenses. But first, he needs to learn how to keep his feet grounded. OK, we're over here with the wide receivers corner. Wide receivers. Let's compete now, Chris. Stance, start, hands, OK? Run. You gotta control your weight and drop down. Remember I showed you the tape? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta get that corrected. That's that wet grass. Drop your weight. Yeah, that, that, that's what really got me today was the difference from the turf and the wet field. I had to, that's the technique I have to work on. Just get my weight forward over my knees, get my shoulders over my knees and work on more of a technique instead of just running full speed and wild. It was fun, you know, just coming out there competing against other competition. You know, great guys all around the field and you come out here to compete and show everybody what you can do. Showing your best is important when all eyes are on you. First round pick Ronnie Stanley is already comfortable with the scrutiny that being a top 10 pick brings. All the pressure, it just, you know, kind of falls away when I'm on the field and, you know, I'm just out there playing and uh, being at my best. And um, I know there's a target on my back and I know people are gonna, you know, try to try to beat me any chance they get. and. You know, that, that's the position I want to be in. Lock in, man. Lock in. Let's go. Got to compete, guys. We got to compete. 
So make sure you're not too tight on that. Okay. You want to give that tight end a chance to get his release, and you want to come underneath that clean. Um, what I've learned over the past two days is definitely going to allow me to, to excel at the position of wide receiver. Um, just the footwork, uh, alignments, alignments, alignments. That's something that I really had to get a, get a hold on. And then, and then knowing the whole concept, not just what your route is. You can't just memorize, you know, one one route because you could get changed around in the formation. You have to understand the entire concept. Being a Raven to me means just playing tough, playing with the hard edge, playing with that chip on your shoulder. Like it's it's the Ravens against the world, and every day you step on the field, you go with that mentality that you're gonna play tough and win the game. Football is football, and you want to go out there and, and be at your best, and you want to prove to these coaches and your teammates that you're, you're gonna do your job and do it do to the best of your ability. The rookies have a way to go before the season begins, but the bonds formed over the course of this weekend brought them one step closer to playing on Sundays in the NFL.